how to add invoices in Zoho Invoice and indeed Zoho Books. Zoho Invoice allows you to add invoices in various ways. If we click the invoice tab at the top we see the list of active invoices that are being processed. You can create a new invoice directly if you're not going to go through the quotation process. You can create one directly here or you can import invoices here. You can also add invoices for uh, projects that you are doing inside Zoho Projects. The, no the normal way that you would do it though is with quotations that have gone through some kind of approval process and then get converted into invoices. So that's what we'll do today. This invoice, uh, this quotation here was created in another video, how to create quotations inside Zoho Invoice. So we will say for the sake of the demo that the customer has approved the quotation and uh, this can be via any kind of process in your company, fax, email, whatever. And the salesperson now wants to convert that into an invoice. Okay, now in Zoho Invoice, quotations are to show pricing. Invoices are a request for payment. They're not really meant for receipts for payment. Okay, because you can log payments against invoices inside Zoho Invoice and Zoho Books. Okay, so the status on this quote is sent. Now the salesperson wants to convert that to an invoice. That is done with the convert to invoice function. And when they do that, everything from the quotation is brought across into the invoice. So the customer remains the same, the primary contact remains the same, and uh, the invoice number will be automatically generated using the prefix INV, however that can be changed to uh, your own corporate prefix if you wish. But the running sequential number uh, will just keep going sequentially for each invoice that you create. PO number, this is brought across from the quotation reference number, so if you entered something there, for example an internal quote numbering system, it would be brought across into the PO number. The invoice date is the current date, the terms uh, apply to the specific customer, so you might have net 30, net 45 and so on, but you can change it on the fly, so you can say due on receipt or a specified date. The late fee, this is only applicable if you've configured late fees inside your Zoho invoice setup and you can set that here if you wish to apply late fees for this particular invoice. The exchange rate, here is where you can uh, set the exchange rate on the specific day of the invoice. Normally this is done as you add the currencies to your system, that will be in a separate video, uh, but you can change it uh, at the time of the invoice if you wish. So you would use the change button here and then enter that day's exchange rate for the currency that the invoice will be in. So in this case it's GBP, but the base currency in our demo is USD. So that's where you can change the currency exchange rate. So the items will remain the same. These are brought across from the quotation. Normally there will be no change there, but you can, if you wish, to change, for example, a slightly higher discount or something like that if you had some negotiations in the conversion process, you can do so. You can configure an online payment options uh, such that people can pay the invoice amount online. That is done in the online payment configuration settings uh, which will be shown in another video. The customer notes, these are just thank you notes that you can configure to be generic for your invoices or you can change them uh, on an invoice by invoice basis. So for example, if you want to change it for this invoice, you can just change it like that on the fly. If you wish to add this as a default comment from this point moving forwards for every invoice, then you can check the set this as default and then it will be used for every invoice moving forwards. The same applies for the terms and conditions so that you can set these as default but you can change for this invoice as you like. If you don't want that change to apply to the rest of the invoices moving forwards then you don't need to check this as default setting. So when everything is done you check it once more 
and then save. And now what this has done has created an invoice. This is the invoice details screen so you can review the information. You can expand the terms and conditions here. And you can also use the functions on the right hand side here. Now you see that the status is draft because I've just created it, I haven't done anything with it. If I want to have a look at the PDF, I can use the export as PDF function. And this will use the template that you select to export the file to the PDF. Now the template, if I go back to edit, the templates are shown here in the top right of the invoice. So there is a default template which will be used when you create the invoice. However, if you've created different templates for uh, different entities or different designs for whatever reason, you can choose that from here. You can just change the template and then basically save the invoice. And then when you export as PDF, it will come out as the different template. So the next thing that I would normally do as part of the sales process is to send this to the customer. So basically we have two options, send snail mail, that's Zoho's own uh, regular mail service where I can buy credits and send a hard copy of the invoice or I can use the email invoice function. So I click email invoice, okay this is saying to configure online payment options, we have not done that for the sake of the demo but you can do so if you wish to uh, get accept payments online. So you've got the customer name which will default uh, to the primary contact plus you've got you'll have any others that are inside that account if you have any and you can add new people on the fly now we recommend that you do not add contacts to Zoho invoice if you are using the Zoho CRM sync this is because Zoho CRM synchronization function is a one-way sync from the CRM to Zoho invoice or Zoho books it does not synchronize two ways meaning if you add contacts to Zoho invoice then you're going to have two sets of data uh, which can get confusing. So always maintain your data inside Zoho CRM if you are using Zoho CRM synchronized feature. Add your CCs here. The subject is part of the email template. Uh, see the other video for how to configure email templates. There's just one template for each step inside Zoho invoice. It's simple but very fast and efficient. It does not allow you to create numerous templates for numerous uh, sales scenarios. That's really the CRM function. So if you have different email templates that you want to use for sending different kinds of invoices, then you should export to PDF, save the PDF, and send it from Zoho CRM. Otherwise, you can just use a very generic email here that you can configure, you can put in the customer name and the invoice overview details and so on and it will attach the invoice here uh, automatically to the email so there's no need to save and then attach again. You can also attach stuff like um, contracts or additional terms or whatever you like here. When I'm ready to send I simply send the email Okay, and that will get sent. Uh, it's not going to send. We did not configure the online payment options in this example. Okay, but here is the invoice. Now, once it gets sent, it will actually update the status automatically. Or, if you do want to send it by your own email client or from Zoho CRM, then you're perfectly uh, able to do so. And then convert to open manually. Okay, because once you send it, it will automatically convert it to open, or you can manually convert it to open. Okay, so now the status of this particular invoice is open. And I can go back to the invoices tab, and now I can see it here, and I can see the uh, status in the right-hand column here open. All right, now if I am... Um, processing this invoice, the customer has received it and the customer now wants to record a payment against it, I can do so using the record payment function. I can also send reminders. So I can send a pre-formatted reminder to that customer 
uh, that I set up in the email templates and reminders function in the administration side and then I can send a reminder to that customer it also that will also allow you to put in the online payment configuration okay that's not been done for the demo so we're not going to send this email right now but it, the function is there as a reminder uh, to send to customers so when I have uh, received a payment from a customer I can uh, either make the uh, payment directly from the list here so I can say record payment or I can go into the invoice itself and then use the record payment function here either one will go to the same function within Zoho invoice so now I'm going to record a payment against that invoice and in this case they're just going to pay the entire amount also that's bank charges if there are any you have the payment method the amount received will default to the amount of the invoice if you're doing partial payments then you would have to change this to 50% or whatever payment you're accepting you key in the bank charges any tax that the customer retains uh, for example withholding tax or something like that and then uh, you've got the payment date that's automatic and the payment method so it might be a bank transfer you can have the transfer code or reference number any notes that you want to type in here and you can send a thank you note immediately from this function here and this thank you note is configured in the administration side of Zoho invoice so this must be done before you do this function you need to configure the thank you note it's a very simple template saying thanks for the payment and then when it gets sent you it will send to the primary contact so also you need to do the primary contact settings for each company and you can also add people if you want to do that as well so when I've done that I save I want to send the thank you note so I save and now the status of the invoice has been closed because the customer has paid and you've recorded a full payment against that invoice so that has now been closed if I go back to the invoices tab you can see the payment and the status recorded as closed this will also now automatically be recorded as closed inside my reports so then I can have a look at my different reports and so on so I can do my aging reports my sales so it's recorded as a sale that's been paid and everything's closed so that basically then is the invoice process If I click another invoice you can just review the other functions on the right hand side they're pretty self-explanatory edit we've done recording payment you can use credits as well against uh, invoices you can apply credits for customers print it email it send it by a snail mail export it remind the customer we've done you can make this a recurring invoice for example monthly support or something like that you can also copy this if you just use a standard invoice once per month and you don't want to use it make it recurring you can just clone it each month very quickly if the invoice is not paid for whatever reason then you can write it off okay void just means to void the invoice if there's uh, an error or a mistake in the invoice process you can just void it or you can write it off if you wish to keep it open but the customer has not paid then it will still be recorded but it will be written off or the delete function as it says delete down at the bottom of the invoice we have the communications functions so this is kind of a CRM uh, function within inside Zoho invoice so you can see any um, history that you may have on the invoice so if I go back to the invoice that we've just sent you can see the payments received here on this date this amount received no credits applied comments and history 
we created it on this date. So over time, when we uh, edit it, send it, and so on, this will be updated. Email history. We actually didn't send the email uh, on this example, but when we did, uh, it will be shown here as an email history. Same with snail mail credits if you buy any. And that is how to use the invoice process from creating an invoice to updating the invoice, changing the template, sending the invoice, reminding the customer, and then recording a payment against the invoice. Thanks very much.